Well, a blessed good morning to all of you under the sound of my voice. Welcome to Moments of Inspiration with your friend, Minister Rick, coming to you from Hatchet Bay, Luthra, in the Bahamas. Has anybody ever asked you the question, how can you love the Lord? Yeah, how can you love God? You can't see Him. Yeah, how do you love Him? I'm glad you asked me that question today. That's my topic for today. How to love the Lord. In Mark chapter 12, verse 30, it reads, And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind, and with all thy strength. This is the first commandment. Wow, okay, it's a commandment. That means this is something we have to do. By loving God with all my heart, I place myself in a position of joy. Joy that is there regardless of my current circumstances. And I want to remind you this morning that only God can give you joy. Do you want this joy? I know I do. I also must love God with all my soul, mind, and strength. While this may be simple, it is not easy. Let's talk about it this morning. Loving God with all your heart. To love God with all your heart means to love God with all your emotions. Mm -hmm. Praising Him with your happiness. Yeah, some people just ain't happy. Your smile. I was told I have a beautiful smile. <laughs> and lots of you do too. And gratitude. It's easy when things are going well. Mm -hmm. It's easy to praise God with your happiness your smile, and your gratitude when things are going well. Like when you perceive an answer to prayer or one of life's good gifts come your way. But how about when things aren't going so well? All your heart means all the time. Even when God seems quiet, even when he says wait, even when he says no, and yes, even when bad things happen. Do you still love God when he says wait or no? Continue to love God when bad things happen or good things don't happen is the key to a life of contentment. God comforts us in good times and in bad times. That's why he is God. Loving God with all your soul. To love God with all your soul means that in a part of you that always knew that you were created by a creator. Mm -hmm. When you let yourself be quiet, something inside you just knows that there is a God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your soul takes you much further than your heart can. It takes you to a solid relationship with the loving Lord and as a bonus, it takes you to heaven. Loving God with all your mind. Now that you're trusting God with your heart, you continue to the next area, not depending on your own understanding, Proverbs 3 and 5. When I depend on my own understanding, lies run rampant in my brain. They can pop up at any moment in an attempt to slow my walk with God. Loving God with my mind means renewing my mind daily so that I think more of his thoughts instead of my own. Mm -hmm. I know his thoughts by reading my Bible daily. Yeah, I answered your question because I know somebody was going to ask, how can I know God's thoughts? We know God's thoughts by reading the Bible every day. God's will and his thoughts are good, pleasing and perfect. I need as much of these as possible to fill my and renew my mind, Romans 12 and 2. Loving God with all your strength, my final point. My actions, your actions, do they show a love for God? Yes. Does your action show a love for God? Think about it. For if I read the word and don't obey it, it does me no good. If I merely put the words into my brain without putting them into practice, it's only information, not transformation. And transformation is what we desperately needed. God likes it when we are led by faith to act. Worshipping 
Our worship isn't just singing. It is living by faith so that others can see my example. Listen to me this morning. Pleasing God should be your biggest and most wanted reward. Let me say it again. Pleasing God, not your family, not your government, not your party, not the prime minister, not your boss. Pleasing God should be your biggest and most wanted reward. Loving God with all your strength means stepping out in faith. And you know faith without works is dead, James 2 and 17. Loving God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength is simply a response. For we love because he first loved us. Sila. Think and act on these things. God bless you today.